Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial, I'll be showing you that how basically you can remove your uh, background from uh, the web camera using OpenCV inside Python. So basically, if I press the Q button, you will see that guys, my background will be removed and it will be replaced by a static image here. You will see that this is kind of a green green scre screen filter effect. So I have not put up a, any kind of green screen. And basically, if I put W here, you will see the image will be changed here of my background. If I press E here, you will see that. So when you press the keyboard key, guys, your background will be changed here. Basically, it's a green screen filter effect which is achieved using the webcam here. We will be trying a simple Python script which lets you do this process for you. So basically, whenever you are live streaming it, you can basically toggle the different backgrounds inside your webcam without using any sort of green screen. So basically we can achieve this effect guys even using the OpenCV library. We will also be using the CV zone library and media pipe library. So this will be a fun little project inside Python. So all the source code I have given in the description of this video. You can just check and copy paste all the source code. So now let's get started. Now to stop this application it's very simple. You will control C and basically it will stop this application. So there is three dependencies which are needed for this application guys the very first dependency is OpenCV you can install this dependency by using OpenCV-Python this is the module that we need to install here so simply install this module here this is required for this and also we will require two other dependencies which will remove the background for us which is CV zone and this media pipe these are the two dependencies which are needed here you can even search it on Google basically this is a CV zone. You can see computer vision zone. This is the full form of this library CV zone. And also we have the media pipe. This is also a Python library which uh, basically removes the background from your web camera. So we need these three libraries. Let me write this Python script step by step. So first of all, just make a app.py file, guys. So we need to first of all in invoke or import the open cv library so cv2 we also need to import the cv zone library like this and from the cv zone there is a method inside this guy guys which is called as selfie segmentation module we need to import this module and from that we need to import the selfie segmentation this is the thing we need to import and then we need to instantiate the open cv library and this contains a video capture and here we will be passing the web camera that we want to use. So this is take a constant numeric value. And after that we will set basically guys the width and the height which will be 3640. You can change this height accordingly. And this time we will be setting the height here which will be 480 like this. And then we will be declaring a variable guys which we will be using inside the while loop which will be an infinite while loop whenever we are streaming we will be using this variable so whenever this variable is true we will be showing the web camera so now first of all what we need to do is that here we need to first of all instantiate the segmentation so we will be declaring a constructor selfie segmentation so this is a constructor here so you can see we are importing it and then we are calling it like this. So after this guys we will be basically be running this while loop which is while loops where. So this simply means that while it is true run all the steps which are listed here. So first of all what we need to do is that we need to show the frames from the web camera video. So we can read the frames like this by using video.read. So this is the open CV. Uh, module guys you can see we are accessing the user web camera and then we are fetching the frame second by second and storing it inside this frame over here and now if i wanted to show the window i can simply call a function inside opencv which is im show this is a method and basically this takes two arguments first is the actual video that we want to show and the second one is the actual frame so now if you just reload your application at this moment of time you will find out that we are able to run our application so python app.py so what will happen here basically it will get access to your web camera and your window will be showing here inside this while loop so it will take some time and basically it will start your web camera so you can see that it has started the web camera uh, but it is not showing the image so we need to show the image as well 
for showing this image let me first of all stop this so after getting this frames guys we need to show our face as well so first of all what we will say is that key is equal to cv2 wait key so this simply means that we are waiting for the user to press a key so this key will be stored inside this key variable and then we will simply check here if key if key is double equal to and then we will simply check if this key is equal to c in that case we need to stop the application so we will simply make this variable as false so what will happen if you press the c keyword guys the application will stop so whenever if i start this application now so what will it will do here so if i just press the c keyword here it will once again start the application you will see my face is now there if i press the c keyword the application will stop so this is meant by this uh, if block here so after this guys we have the else block here else if and inside this we will now check if the key is equal to the q key then we need to show a we need to change the background we need to show a different image for that we will be calling a function which will responsible for this we will uh, pass the name of the image which is first image so this function we need to make guys so right here at the very top we will make this function which will uh, be responsible for changing the background of the web camera so definition image change this is a function and basically it takes the name of the image as the argument and here we will be declaring a global variable of loop variable once again and then we will simply say that if image double equal to first image in that case we need to show we need to change the background so we will simply say background image we will say that the cv2 dot image read how basically we can read image inside open cv guys with the help of this method which is image read and here we just need to provide the path of the image which is stored 1 dot png so you can see that guys 1 dot png 2 dot png 3 dot png so all of these images guys i have resized these images to 640 comma 480 you will see each image is resized to 640 480 so it's very important that you only take the png images and first of all you before running this application you must resize all the images to these dimensions there are various tools out there you can simply say that uh, resize images first of all go to these tools and basically resize these images to these dimensions so whatever dimensions that you pick here you can even change these dimensions let's suppose 1280 and 720 so whatever dimensions you pick you need to first of all resize all these images to those dimensions then only your web camera background will change so after this uh, we will again have a else if, else if condition if image is uh, equal to the second image in that case we need to show background image will become here the different image which will be we need to read this image read which will be 2.png again we will have a else if condition if image is equal to the third image in that case our background will become here bg image will become c cv2 we will again read the third image which is uh, 3 dot png that's it so that's all we need to do inside this uh, if block and um, right here above just outside this we will run a simple while loop once again so inside this while loop guys we will again use this global variable that we declared here loops variable if this is equal to true while this is true here you will see that loops variable we have declared this to true so we are just make this as global variable so it will run this loop here and basically we will read the frames of the web camera by again using video dot read and then basically we will simply make a video remove background variable and this time we will use the segmentation that we are importing here you will see segmentation this is segmentation and this contains a method guys which allows you to remove the background so this is a method guys basically it removes the web camera background and replaces the image that we pass so we need to pass the frame of the web camera and then the background image that we need to replace and then the threshold basically the threshold guys basically it's the you can say that how much uh, uh, if you're replacing your background image how much uh, 
correctness you want in replacing it so it typically takes in between 0 to 1 so you can just I will put 0 0.8 you can even put here 1 also but 0 0.8 is good so after this you need to show the video here guys also so CV2 we will show this the video and basically with that background image so we need to pass here video remove background that's it so again we will simply store the key which the user presses cv wait key and basically again we will have if condition here if the key is equal to the c key if the uh, if the user has pressed the c key in that case we will make this loop variable to false and then we will close the application like this and again else if we will simply just check if the user has pressed the Q key then we need to change the image to another image so again we will call the same method image change guys you will see we are calling the same function once again and then here this will be this image will be different here this will be first change sorry first image once again and let's suppose the user has pressed a different key here if the user has pressed uh, let's suppose uh, W key in that case again we will call the same function this time this will be second image put a colon here like this and thirdly if the user has pressed uh, the E key in that case again we will call the same function and this time this will be third image so in this case you can have as many images as you want guys you can store it basically so we are calling the same function again and again depending upon which key is pressed by the user here and also you need to replace the same conditions here guys inside this loop also basically you just need to copy this else if statements here right in this loop also whenever you start your application so this is needed here you can see just format this so now our application is completed guys so first of all whenever application starts this while loop will start and basically uh, we will check here if the user has pressed the queue keyword then we will call this function image change and once again in this function we will again run a while loop again we will check for all these keystrokes so depending upon which keys pressed we will be replacing the background so if I start this application now here so what will happen here you will see that basically it will start this web camera and uh, now if I press the Q key you will see the background will be replaced here if I press the W key you will see that if I press the E key like this so in this case guys you can see basically you can have a green screen filter effect it is not looking that great but still you can achieve this effect using open CV cv zone and media pipe this is really good i hope that you like this video please hit that like button subscribe the channel all the source code is given in the description of this video and i will be seeing you in the next one